it is November 24th, and uh, it's still November 24th. Anyways, so November 24th, uh, they had day one of the uh, leftover today up at 411. Uh, <laughs> I would like to just give a big congratulations and good job to Dave Lester. Um, went up there and qualified 18th, finished 15th at a very tough track. Yeah, that's an understatement. Yeah, <laughs> like I can't get around it. <laughs> and so, I, and then congratulations to Seth. Uh, he got he qualified fourth and got to third in the sportsman. Uh, Joe Bray did pretty good as well. Uh, just a it's Joe Frills went from fifteenth to eleventh up there in the open wheels. Uh, yeah, and it was a it was a fairly tough crowd. Yeah, like it for was, the first day. Yeah, there was only twenty cars that signed in today. We're expecting more tomorrow. But regardless, the 20 cars that was there wasn't no slouch. Um, but just to start it off, you know, congratulations to them guys for going to a track that, I mean, in our opinion, is kind of tough and doing as well as they did. That, that kind of just throws a lot of good views, like, and a lot of driver appreciation from us that did very well. And now I look like a fat slouch. So let me just... The, the, the phone's focusing back and forth. You see that? What did you pull in the center? I'm not getting that out of here. <laughs> Anyways, so... <laughs> you know Dad ain't going to like this, right? No. He, he done called us an idiot. Yeah. Need to calm her down a little bit. Anyways, uh, so that's how, I want, that's how I wanted to start this video was just to congratulate them guys on a good run up there. So, anyway, <laughs> so, you know, congratulations to you guys. Uh, other than that, uh, just want to take some time to talk to you about so a couple more things that we'd like to focus on far as is this year and ne next year. Um, doing a couple big changes. Uh, we don't necessarily think that the big motor is going to be done. Uh, well, bigger. Uh, yeah, we're still about 15, 20 cubic inches off of a lot of them. But. Yeah. But we don't know, don't think that we're going to be ready with the new motor. For the beginning of the season which is fine we're having too much fun with this crate uh so we'll get it out for the winter and check it over make sure everything's good and stick her back in and <laughs> go hopefully get us some top fives top threes even yeah hopefully just run it for a month yeah uh have some more fun kind of dial in and make sure that we don't get rusted up over the winter time on you know what we know and what we do um, a lot of body changes are going to happen next year. Because uh, we were well under the body limit yeah. by several inches in the rear, like six inches in the rear. Uh, we were about an inch and a half under on the width, uh, about an inch and a half, almost two inches on the deck height. So we... We went real conservative because we didn't know what was going to happen uh, with the whole 21-22 rule mix. So we got closer to 22 where we didn't have to change a whole lot. Ended up destroying the deck anyway, so um, we can go ahead and extend it. We're good. Not really any extra work. Uh, our roof was good. We were right there on roof height. So right there on nose length too. We're going to maybe slant the nose a little harder. Um, leave everything else the same. Most people won't be able to tell the difference in it. But we're just going to 
squeak right to the edge of the body rules like everybody else, but stay legal. Uh, my spoiler design that I put on half the year seemed to work well, but I'm going to change it. Uh, got a early design spoiler coming up for a company that we're going to try out before they pr start producing them. At least make sure it fits good and then they will start producing them. We'll tell more about that after we get it on and make sure there's not any tweaks that need to be done. Uh, I'm going to change and put fender wells in the rear, plastic fender wells to try to hold the quarters together a little better <laughs> since, the, since the driver's side one keeps getting the crap folded out of it. Yeah, and we keep having left rear tires getting knocked up in, or left rear quarters getting knocked into the tire and cutting tires and stuff, so that'll help that and keep that from happening, hopefully. Some of y'all will find a way to make it happen, and that's okay, because at that point, it's game on. Uh, so, yeah. And then, you know, uh, next year for open wheel guys, there is a new change coming up, depending, kind of just want to touch base on this because give some people a heads up if you don't know already. Um, next year, open wheel rules will be enforced, like the UMP rules, like what they was halfway doing it this year. Uh, except next year, a big change for most guys that I've seen uh, you're no longer allowed to run a bump or shims on the right front, which you wasn't allowed to use shims anyways, but I know some people have. Um, yeah, and if you go to some big, big tracks, they're liable to yank a shock and check for an internal bump too. Yeah. So anybody that's planning on doing that, I guess they're going to enforce that stuff pretty hard, and you don't want to get caught with that because yeah. you do it one time and your shock's going to get – checked every week or somebody's gonna buy it every week or something stupid so just don't cheat just figure it out get your springs right so uh, what <laughs> I was gonna make this joke. anyways uh so yeah i wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit because i know some open wheel guys run bumps and shims and stuff and it's just supposed to be really enforced next year along with body rules now that it will be a full new season on all the new UMP stuff. Which we're still waiting on that to come out. Yeah. Hopefully it comes out by Christmas and hopefully, like we said before, Mountain View's rules come out by Christmas or they're at least they're scheduled so we know when a practice is. Uh, Bulls Gap already come out with a schedule? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bull, or yeah, volunteer Bulls Gap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they came out with a schedule, which, man, they've got two of the, I think it's XR series, uh, super late models supposed to be there. And they have on Friday night, it's supposed to be five or something, five or 10,000 to win. And Saturday is 100,000 to win. Uh, that's that's going to be pretty insane. Um, but. And weekly supers, right? Yeah, uh, volunteers running weekly supers, weekly late models. Uh, they're running a sportsman slash 604 class, open wheels, street stocks, and front wheel drives. And all of it's big money. Did it's, they add front wheel drive? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hmm. It's 3000 to win weekly supers. Don't quote me on this because I'm just going off my brain and it don't work half the time. Uh, 1500 late models. 1000 no, 1,500 late models, 1,000 to win sportsman crates, and then 1,200 uh, open wheels. No, 1,000 open wheels. 1,000 weekly. Okay, 1,000. Uh, That's 1,000. And then 500 for front wheel drives, and I think it's the same for street stock at 500. But regardless, I mean, that's a huge payout for weekly stuff, and... Where they're located in the track, I don't see why they can't get the car count they need. I'm just kind of a little twitch here. Um, <laughs> God. <laughs> Anyways, so for a weekly payout, that's pretty good. But where they're at in the track and the amount of people that have already told me and from what I've heard, 
uh, it's going to be a pretty good car count hopefully every week. And I mean, they deserve it. It's a really good track. I uh, wish they'd have raced a little more this year, but they didn't. But next year is going to be very, very good. And yeah, I'd be excited for us to go up there and try it once or twice. And a lot of people from Tazewell area and way up the north end of the state travel all the way down here every week to race. And that's like four-hour haul for some of them. Average four-hour haul. You know. Tires, getting rear-ended, that kind of stuff happens. So they don't have to travel so far, which we'll lose a handful of cars here. Um, but I guess 75 is not doing open wheels again, which is good because I really hate our car count to get taken away from Mountain View. I mean, there'll be, we can probably think of three or four guys that'll go to Bulls Gap. Uh, Still got your Friday night stuff, as far as I know, at Crossville. And then Mountain View is the closest thing to us on open wheels. Boyd's doesn't do it. Um, 75 doesn't do it. Wartburg doesn't do it. We're still waiting to see about Smoky Mountain, which I don't think they'll have a weekly deal. It'll probably be like maybe the Ironman series or the Cumberland series race there, because I, I don't think that would be a smart idea for three tracks within a couple of hours of each other to run open wheels on a Saturday. Cause that would split a lot of cars up. I would like to see 16, 17, 18 cars like we did at the end of the year, every weekend. I wish we had 15 solid cars every weekend. And I wish, I kind of wish we heat raced every week. That was fun. Cause. Probably the most fun I've had all year as far as us go from hot laps to something else to feature. That was probably more fun. And it's kind of like one of them deals if you don't want to heat race, just ride around in the back. Start where you start and then run to the front. <laughs> like, I mean, so, sometimes the heat racing stuff really mixes them up. What's the matter with you? Oh, I could. Anyways, uh, <laughs> no, 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 just let it be. It's, it's, this is a new time. We're not calling anybody idiots and all that stuff, you know, since I have people walking in my trailer making fun of me. And you know who you are, Mr. Iron Man. You know who you are. Yeah, I'm calling you out, fool. <laughs> Anyway, he made a valid point. You know, I need to quit quit saying that, especially with the kids watching. I don't want to disappoint those guys, so. No more of that. But if I'm very quiet after some of the racing stuff, you, you understand what I'm thinking. So just, I don't have any control over what he says. I'm just a crew member. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, you know, like, you know. <laughs> Anyways, you know, really excited to see what next year brings us, uh, far as his tracks and everything. Uh, with open wheels, I'm really hoping that, I don't think there will be an issue, but I hope that all the rules are enforced, like the same, like Mountain View has the same rules as Volunteer and Lake Cumberland stuff, you know. And if they do that, like, if not, let us know because, like, if you're right front shock, can't run a bump or internal bump or something here, but you can up there, like to have that kind of help, you know, like, just stuff in the rules that I hope is the same. I guess, you know, shocks, tires, trash control, tire prep, all that kind of stuff stays the same. Uh, so. Uh, grooving. Yeah, uh, I'm like more some wondering about grooving too because we grooved, I think three of the spares that we've got because they were kind of on their last leg, and if we can't groove this coming year, which will be the dirt car rule stuff, well, that's three tires that we don't have, which yeah. we don't have enough to spare to start with. So I'm really curious on that. I'm more curious about that than anything because I mean that's that's a chunk of money I'm going to be throwing away that. 
three tires could get us through a lot of the season. I mean, I hate to say that. But <laughs> ran the first year on six tires. Yeah. Six tires and 24 left rear wheels. Yeah. So. The key to starting a race team. Yeah. Uh, then this year we had a very good amount of tire left at the end of the year, except that right rear because somebody decided to be lead foot. But what well, is what it is. Whatever. But anyway, that's that's what we're going to touch on this week. Uh, I'll post a short video next weekend because I will be gone. So if it looks like we're wearing the same clothes in the next video, it's literally because we are. You know. You know. My word. But we'll catch you next week. Y'all have a good week. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, hope we see you at the swap meet tomorrow. Uh, that is uh, the Hot Rod Hoarders stuff. Uh, you will see this video after the uh, swap meet. So if we seen you there, it was good to see you. If we don't, you really missed a good swap meet. And uh, it's been shared all over the place. And all the proceeds go to... A family in need so y'all have a good week have a good weekend we'll see you next week you can you can end it now <laughs>